hello youtube welcome to another video so this one is the second time i'm recording and because the the video has a lot of comments people complaining because uh, when recording the previous video i made for this situation there was a problem with obs the software recording the the screen and so there were gaps in the recording and some some people didn't reach the 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 goal of the video lost some steps okay so i'm talking about this one with the purple background so this one okay so if you have a, a tv game stick when you plug it into your windows computer um it says that you need to format your drive at least in windows 10 i will show you right away okay so always remember to make a backup of your SD card of your micro SD card uh, so I have videos how to do that and do your manipulation your file manipulation always on a backup okay um, because if you mess your software your far stick or your TV game stick will be not working and you will be mad about it okay so as a, as you can see whenever you plug one of these uh, cards on your compu windows computer it doesn't let you handle the partitions okay so in that video i left two links and i will, will also leave on, on this one one is for disk genius and the other one is for x ext2 okay so the first one disk genius so if you, if you open this one you will see all the drives on, on your computer okay so i have a windows i have a mac because i have akintosh i have linux and the last one this is our card our tv game stick micro sd card and as you can see it has five partitions okay and the last one its um, file system is ext2 which is not readable by windows okay so and inside you can see we have a, a, a folder called roms where you will find all your roms all your games inside so if you want to add more games or delete some it's here you have to come okay what happened is that um, disk genius it's not a free application okay so it doesn't let you copy and delete files from your micro sd card unless they are really really small which is the case of these ones that i'm able to copy to my desktop because if i try from another folder let's select another one and if I try to copy to my desktop this one it will not let me okay let's try and boom buy now so they so the, the 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 application it really works but you need to pay okay so if you don't mind spending some money I don't know how, how much they they charge for the the application but if you think you will use it for more stuff uh, probably you want to buy it okay but don't worry because uh we we have another solution okay i, I mentioned i have a um, another program and as you can see this is the folder i created in the other video the game is still here okay mario adventure 3 which i launched on the other video remember is this one okay so if i try to copy this one to the desktop it doesn't let me okay so let's try the the ah uh, another important thing so you see it's not making use of the full capacity of the car we have 11 gigabytes not not used so we would select here extend partition okay you see and we have the blue darker zone and then a light blue which is the 11 gigabytes that we it, it 
it would merge into the same partition if I select extend. I'm not gonna do that now, but this is how you can extend your partition. If you clone your card from a 64 gigabyte to a 128 gigabytes, you can extend like that because it, if you clone it 64 to 128, it will become 64 unless you extend the partition. And this is one of the ways you can do it, okay? So if you open disk management, that uh, this application comes uh, by default on Windows, you will see that we have the same not allocated space, okay? So my card is not uh, taking an advantage of the entire capacity, which is not good because I, I'm, there is more space which for which I could add more games, okay? So now I will be using a XT2 volume manager. Uh, you can download, okay? I already downloaded, so it's installed. I'm going to, to open it. Okay, so we have all the drives listed here. So we just need to search for the micro SD card, which is this one. Okay, AXT2 on the file system, you see. So this is the one we want. And there is no option here to mount. So if you right click, you will have an option which says assign drive letter. Okay, now you see there is an high from India here. That means it's mounted. So if we open a file explorer and we select high, you will have access to all the folders. Okay, and so inside we have a, a ROMs folder. And now I have the folder that I created in the other video and I can, I can move games inside and also pictures. So don't forget if this video really helped you to leave a, a thumbs up and if you have questions, leave it on the comments, okay? Check my other videos for the TV sticks because for this one, it works like this, but for the other ones, you have to launch the games from a specific folder uh, from, from, from the settings menu. Otherwise, even if you add games, you will not see them there, okay? And yeah so just showing you that you can copy from the card to your desktop and the other way around okay so if i wanted to move some some games inside here from mega drive i would select remember to 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 always respect the the emulator folder so if this one is for mega drive don't put something else inside okay so if you have games from playstation put it uh, on the playstation folder so it's important to respect uh, folders and file extension okay so don't if you have you put a different file extensions from the ones that are official supported it will not work okay pay attention to that so basically you can create uh, more folders inside you can delete you can add games and that's how you do it so this is a xt2 file system that uh, for the by default it's not readable by windows and using this uh, free application we will be able to create folders delete folders add games delete games move games and that's pretty much it okay so um this is a a bigger game that I, i'm just showing you that is possible to copy i will not finish the copy but just to show you that i have a, a lot of videos created for the tv game stick trying another other remotes and yeah using a usb hub uh, there is another one that i gave internet one of the tv game sticks so that's it i hope you enjoyed the video and i catch you on a new one don't forget to like thank you and bye bye